Well, it's important to put all of this into context. At this point, we know that these blood clots occurred in six out of 6.8 million people who received the Johnson & Johnson shot. WRTV's Megan Sanctorum is taking a closer look at how common something like this is with new medications, and she's working to answer your questions about the shot. She's live in Speedway tonight with more. Good evening, Megan. Yeah, good evening, Mark. I've been talking with medical professionals today, and they tell me that this blood clotting is a serious side effect that needs to be studied. However, they want to stress it is extremely rare. They say the majority of people who have gotten the Johnson & Johnson vaccine did not have this side effect and are now protected against COVID-19. When it comes to getting the COVID-19 vaccine, some people like Laura Taylor say convenience is key. Um, so the thought process was that I just knew I needed to get it and uh, didn't really think about Johnson & Johnson. It was just one and done and I thought, oh, that's available at the track. She tells us she has an appointment to get the shot on April 28th, but now she's not sure which kind she will get as new questions arise about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. There have been one out of a million cases of uh, clotting disorders that may or may not be related to the Johnson & Johnson. Dr. Robin Ledyard is the chief medical officer at Community Health. She says this should not be cause for immediate concern. It's a very rare incidence, so I wouldn't be overly worried about it. But I, but I also applaud the CDC and FDA for, um, you know, taking notice, taking that down. She says that's not uncommon as new medicines and vaccines of all types are released to the public. And as you increase the number that that new medicine reaches, you may find that there are side effects that you didn't see in that smaller grouping. So if you already got the Johnson & Johnson shot, what do you need to know? I think that people again need to be aware of those side effects of a clotting disorder, the, the severe headache, leg pain, chest pain. She says symptoms will show up within three weeks of getting the shot. If you have any of them, make sure you call your doctor. Right now, it is still unclear how long use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine will be paused, but some like Taylor say they're putting their trust in medical professionals, and if they clear it for use by her appointment later this month, she'll still get it. If they think it's safe, I'd still probably go ahead and get it and, um, you know, go from there. If they still say, go ahead and get the Moderna or the Pfizer, Pfizer I'd go ahead and get that too. So, yeah, I felt comfortable with whatever they would, they would determine. Doctors also tell me the discovery of this side effect has no impact on the effectiveness of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. So if you've already gotten that shot, there's no need to try to schedule another one to get Moderna or Pfizer. Working for you, Megan Sanctorum, WRTV.